Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? All right, guys. Uh, so uh, welcome to part three of the seven-part series of everything nutrition. Well, at least can't be everything. Uh, but as much as you need to know to get the best results you have for the rest of your life. Uh, so in the first video, we pretty much talked about belief, uh, shared some stories, because if you don't believe that it's actually going to happen to you, it's not going to happen to you. Uh, but more importantly on that, uh, the first part we talked about how exercise has nothing to do for weight loss. There, I mean, there's a thousand benefits to exercise, and yes, you need to exercise, uh, but you cannot work out and lose weight. You have to follow a nutrition plan. And I gave plenty of examples to prove my point, uh, which is why and why you should be paying attention to uh, the next six videos. So yesterday we talked all about protein. Uh, so if you missed that one, make sure you go back and watch that uh, by the end of the night. I'll probably take it down. And then uh, today we're going to be talking about carbs. All right. So what about carbs, huh? Uh, so this is exactly what I'm going to be covering today. My little cheat sheet so I don't forget. Um, so of course, the purpose of carbs, which ah, I did that again. Purpose of carbs, the myths about carbs to keto or not to keto. That is the question. What carbs should you be eating? How many carbs should you be eating? how to be intentional with your carbs, and how to eat bad carbs. And uh, and that's my favorite part of the whole thing because obviously you're not going to eat perfect your whole time, so how can you eat something bad and still stay on track with your results? And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to be covering right here. All right, guys, so diving into it, what is the purpose of carbs? I'm just going to read uh, from this very scientific guy because... It's easy. Uh, so one, carbohydrates. So if you're not sure what a carb is, it stands for carbohydrate. It is a macronutrient part of the protein, carbs, and fat. Uh, so carbohydrates, carbs, provide energy for our bodies to run on. So carbs produces energy for our bodies. When you eat a food that contains carbs, the carbs are broken down by the body into glucose. You may have heard the term glucose. Uh, glucose is the primary fuel that circulates inside of our blood at all times. So there is a glucose inside of our blood that is circulating and that is the main function to give us energy. It's also the principal fuel for the brain. So why should you eat carbs? It gives you energy and it's great for the brain, right? Why, that's why I'm, well, I'll get to the whole keto thing in a bit. And then a carb, carbohydrate deficit, deficient uh, diet may cause headaches, fatigue, weakness, difficulty concentrating, nausea, constipation, bad breath, and vitamin and mineral deficiency. This is why it is so important that you need to eat carbs. Do not be afraid of carbs. All right. Yes, that's all I was going to say. Don't be afraid of carbs. Um, there's so many times where people, they have headaches all the time, right? Do you have headaches all the time? Uh, they're fatigued. They're always tired all the time. Um, they can't concentrate. They have constipation. All of this stuff is wrong with them, and they think it's normal, right? They're like, oh, it's just it's who I am. It's what it's supposed to be. But really, what they're doing is just not eating enough for their body, right? I know way too many people like this where they always feel sick, all this stuff, and it's just their nutrition. They could feel so much better if they just learn how to eat. It is okay to eat. I was at Dodger game is on. However, I'm learning about carbs. Heck yeah, probably having a beer with that Dodger game as well. Um, so that's all I want to say is the reason why you need to eat carbs is it gives you energy. If you don't eat carbs, you're not going to have energy. It's not You're not going to get the principal fuel for the brain, all right? Um, so miss. More, more about the myths because this is the biggest things for people and why they're scared of carbs. Uh, the number one thing I want to talk about, a lot of times you'll see things like net carbs and regular carbs, right? <laughs> I, I can't stand anyone who puts net carbs on anything. So the only reason why you should ever pay attention to net carbs is if you're diabetic because uh, net carbs and means it has like usually if they... Uh, market that somehow it usually means there's some higher type of 
uh, fiber in this food, which is good for diabetics because you want uh, it's lower on the GI uh, index, right? Uh, but for the everyday person, for the people who are trying to lose weight, to tone up, uh, to feel good about themselves, there is absolutely zero reason to look at net carbs. And the reason is, so there's this company, I won't put them on blast, but it happened very recently. And uh, and they, uh, it was a healthy donut company. And uh, for the longest time, people kept eating these carbs. Even me, I would eat these, I would eat these donuts because it would say it's only uh, like 10 to 12 carbs for like two little donuts. And, uh, and it actually tastes really good and all this stuff. And I was like, man, but every time I'd eat them, like my stomach would hurt, like, I don't know, it was just weird. And finally they got caught and they weren't allowed to, and then they had to change their marketing. And so what ended up happening is their 12 carbs of donuts actually was 30 grams of carbs. So here they are telling people it's only 12 grams of carbs, which could, could is completely different than 30. It's more than double the amount, right? Now their new packaging says 12 net carbs. And all that means is it means there's 30 grams of carbs, uh, but because there's 20 or 18 grams of fiber, then it's only 12 net grams of carbs. So that's all that matters. But if you're trying to lose weight, you cannot look at net carbs because if you if you think you're eating 10 grams of carbs, but really you're eating 30 grams, you're going to overeat and get fat, right? Uh, which brings me to the next myth is carbs do not make you fat. Carbs do not make you fat. You do not gain weight because of carbs. The only reason you gain weight is because you eat too many calories, right? Uh, and if you think I'm wrong, look at all the sad, poor, starving countries. Their kids, they eat whatever they can, but they're not eating enough and they're super skinny, right? So, yeah, so... Uh, what I was going to say, so like if you ate, you could eat a thousand calories of Twinkies every single day and that's all you eat, a thousand calories of Twinkies, you're going to lose weight. Why? Because it's a thousand calories, but you're not going to feel great. All right. So carbs do not make you fat. Uh, and a, a great example of this, uh, I wish I, I could, I was trying to find the graph for you guys, but there was a graph showing, uh, 1970, it was like in the 19 the, the 1900s and uh and it showed like our population was like 10 percent overweight right and so they they had to blame something like why is everyone gaining weight it must be the carbs and so everyone started uh eliminating carbs out of their diet and you started seeing all these mark all this marketing about uh, low carb and the net carbs and all of this stuff right and so everything got uh, way less carbs that people were eating and guess what happened 10 years later it went to 20 to 30 percent overweight which means like it doesn't matter how many carbs you eat the reason why you gain weight is because you continuously overeat okay and you may be thinking well i don't even eat that bad uh i don't eat that much but Unless you're tracking 100%, even on the weekends, you truly don't know how much you're eating. Even if you barely eat anything Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday, or Monday through Friday afternoon, and you overeat on the weekends, just because it was two or three days, that could be way over excess of what you need for the whole week, which accumulates all together. You can't do like six days good and one day crazy bad because then it ruins the other seven days all right so the only reason why you gain weight is through overeating on calories so yes it is okay to eat carbs the purpose of this is i want you after this to go and eat carbs all right so you know the purpose i'll figure this out one day you know the purpose Look, there's just a few myths and if there's other things that you have questions about carbs again please please ask questions um to keto or not to keto biggest question one of the most uh asked questions i get from any new person is what do you think of the keto diet i heard my friend lost 50 pounds on it whatever it may be so two things about this one most people do the keto diet wrong and they didn't lose weight because they stopped eating carbs they lost weight because they stopped eating calories <laughs> right um, uh, like 
So what happens is if you eat less carbs, you're supposed to eat more fat or more protein. But what happens is people keep their protein and the fat the same, the same because they never tracked it in the first place and they don't know how much they're eating. And the only thing they do is eliminate the carbs. So here they are eating this many calories. Now they eliminate the carbs, keeping everything else the same. Now they're eating this many calories. That is why they lost weight. And that is why they gained the weight back the moment they started eating carbs again. It's not because carbs were bad. It's because they never figured out how to eat properly. So that's the main thing with keto. And then my other, the, my first uh, response to anyone that says, should I do keto or should I not? I ask them, do you like eating carbs? That's the only question that you need to answer. If you say, no, I hate carbs. I never want to eat carbs the rest of, again in my life. Keto is perfect for you. Follow it. If you're like, no, I mean, I like carbs. I want to eat spaghetti every now and then. I like having a piece of bread. I like donuts. I like dessert. Then no, do not do keto. <laughs> Why would you sacrifice something out of your life when you don't have to? Right? Every... 99.9% .9 of diets, food plans, whatever they are, they all work. 99.9% .9 of them work. All that matters is, are you going to do this the rest of your life? If you could answer yes to that, then do it. But if you're not going to eliminate carbs the rest of your life, there is absolutely no reason to go keto. And then you may be saying, but Luke, I just want to start with keto to lose my weight and then I'll figure it out. No, you won't. You will not figure it out <laughs> because your mindset is so focused on losing that weight. The moment you lose the weight, you're going to gain it back because you're going to feel accomplished and slide back into your old lifestyle. Please tell me that I'm wrong. Someone comment. <laughs> so should you do any diet? It doesn't matter if you do or not, as long as you know you're going to do it the rest of your life. And that is the biggest thing. Learn how to focus, learn how to focus on changing your daily habits that will last a lifetime instead of just focusing on doing one thing to hit a certain goal. Because you're going to hit that goal, it's not going to be as exciting as you thought, and you're going to lose that goal because you didn't build those daily habits. You just restricted yourself for so long and then you're going to blow up, all right? So should you keto, should you not do keto? You just have to answer one question. Do you hate carbs? If you say yes, do keto. If you don't hate carbs, then do not do keto. And I can imagine that everyone watching this video does not hate carbs and that's why you're watching because you're like, man, I want carbs. What should I do? And so it brings me to my next thing. What carbs should we eat, huh? Huh, huh? any of them but really here's the healthy ones and i'll kind of go over healthy versus unhealthy carbs and all that stuff and my most exciting part of the whole thing is at the end where i'm gonna show you how to, how you could fit in your cheat meals how you could go out with your spouse and not feel guilty go out with your friends watch the dodger game and have a dodger dog and not feel guilty about it all right so here's the list that uh, if you watch the first video every result that i showed uh ate off this list uh, sweet potatoes, red potatoes, beans, legumes, rice, white or brown, it doesn't matter. Uh, Ezekiel bread, uh, another good bread that I've seen is Dave's bread. Uh, rolled oats, which is oatmeal, more potato, <laughs> uh, quinoa, fruit, and berries. So yes, a lot of people are unaware that fruit is carbs. That is carbs. So if you're eating a piece of fruit, even vegetables, those are carbs. All right. And, uh, and so... Like my dad. My dad is overweight. He thinks he eats healthy. Uh, I remember, oh, he's, he's doing a lot better. So if you're watching dad, you're doing a good job. I'm talking about old, old dad. Um, I remember he used to, a lot of times, my uh, mom would get watermelon, cut it up, put it in this big bowl. He would grab that big bowl, sit on the couch, and just eat a bunch of watermelon. Is it healthy? Absolutely. But what is he doing? He's chugging down carbs after carbs after carbs after carbs. It doesn't matter if it's healthy or not. If you eat too much of something, it's bad for you. So he'd probably have one to 200. Now that I understand this stuff, he'd be eating like one to 200 grams of carbs in one sitting. And it's just 
it's crazy, right? But in our minds, we're like, oh, it's watermelon. It can't be that bad for us, which it's not in portion sizes. Um, so again, just like with the protein, if you don't like something on this, you don't have to eat it, right? Just choose stuff you like. So for me, really the only thing I eat, I'll eat sweet potatoes, I'll eat rice. Uh, I have bread occasionally. Um, rolled oats, I eat, I like, a, I make, I, uh, my new breakfast is overnight oats with some protein to it. Um, I used to eat quinoa, I don't really do too much anymore. And then I love fruit and berries. Uh, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen my, uh, uh, during my latest transformation, actually, like every night before I went to bed, that was like my dessert. And I would portion it out. I would have so many strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, top it off with whipped cream. And it was, it was delicious. Uh, but I knew when I was eating this, this is about 50, this is 50 grams of carbs, so many fat, all that stuff. And I knew that eating it. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Um, so this is the list that you should be. Is there a certain time of day that you should be eating most of your carbs? I love that question. And that goes into, are we there yet? How, oh, almost there. I'm, that's the being intentional with carbs. So I will cover that. So how many carbs should we eat? Right? So according to the 2020 U.S. Dietary Guidelines for Americans, it recommends getting 45 to 65% of your daily calories from carbs. So these are supposedly the brightest scientific people uh, helping us with our nutrition. And they are telling us that our total calories should be 45 to 65% of them. All right. And they're right. <laughs> and they're right. Uh, it's very rare. I agree with government and uh, stuff like that about nutrition. But um, I say start at the 45% mark. This means if you're on a 2000 calorie diet, which most people watching this should be on a 2000 calorie uh, diet, you may be thinking, oh, that's crazy. That's too much. It's really not. <laughs> um, that means about 900, if you're on the 45%, 900 uh, calories of that is from carbs, which means 225 grams of carbs every single day. Most people, I guarantee if you track your food for one day, most people barely hit 100 or under 100. And I'm like, why are you starving yourself? <laughs> I was like, do you hate carbs? And it's, and it's just because they're just unaware. They're just unaware. But uh, so here, here's a really cool story. True story about myself. Uh, so uh, 2019. Yes, 2019. So at almost... 19, 20, 21, two years ago today, almost two years and 10 days. So on October 30th, so I actually have my picture right here. You guys saw if you watched the first uh, thing on October 30th, I took this picture. Uh, the reason why I took this picture is one, I actually hired a coach myself, um, not so much to learn about nutrition, which I did learn a lot actually from them, not to learn about fitness, which I didn't learn anything about fitness. They just... <laughs> did my uh, nutrition stuff. Um, but I hired them because this was at the point where I was trying to get my results again, but what I was doing wasn't working. And I knew it wasn't so much of not knowing what to do, but just being held accountable to actually doing it, which is a huge piece to transformation. There's fitness, there's nutrition. And the biggest piece is probably accountability, uh, someone to hold us accountable. And so that's what my coach did is he gave me targets to hit, how many grams of protein, carbs, and fat to hit. And I reported to him every single week. And it and it worked um, because there's so many times on the weekend where I was like, I probably shouldn't eat this. Then I have to record it and show my coach. So I didn't do it. Uh, it's crazy how us humans work. And, uh, and so... And this uh, picture, uh, this was also the first time that I truly started tracking my food. Like I, uh, I would put my food on a food scale, weigh it, see how many ounces and grams I was eating, uh, and then plug it into the MyFitnessPal app that I'll show you guys again uh, tonight, and I would eat it. So by the end of the day, I knew exactly how many grams of carbs I was eating, all right? And so after the first week of doing it, I'm 205 pounds right here, I... Uh, I was eating roughly about 21, 2200 calories. Uh, on average, I was eating about 200 grams of carbs by myself, all right? And so that week, I didn't really lose any weight. And then, uh, and he's like, all right, so these are your averages. Now I just want you to consistently eat this every single day. So he told me, eat 200 grams of carbs every single day. And I was close. Of course, I wasn't like 200, 200, 200, but I was like 190, 205, like 
really close to it. And guess what happened? I lost two pounds. And because I lost two pounds, what he did is he raised my calories again. And our goal with this was he wanted to see how much I could eat where I stopped losing weight. And uh, and so here I am uh, eating 200 grams of carbs, lost weight. He raises it to 215. I was consistent. I lost weight. He raises to 230. I was consistent. I lost weight. I got all the way up. I was eating 350 grams of carbs and I lost 14 pounds. So if that doesn't make you believe that you could eat carbs and still lose weight, you can. So I went from, and this was over a 12 week period. So I went from eating 200 through the holidays. <laughs> I started October 30th. So if you're like, oh, I'll wait till the new year to do this. Stop watching, you're wasting your time. 200, uh, over 12 week period, went up to 300, 350, and I lost 14 pounds in doing so. And then over six months worth, uh, you guys saw the after picture. Right there. Uh, so in this run right here, I was eating probably about 250 carbs again. Uh, we dropped it after, once I hit my 350, we dropped it back down uh, to cut up a little bit and then raised it again. And uh, and so this is me eating about 225, 250 grams of carbs, right? Um, and uh, <laughs> you guys, if you follow my journey, uh, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow because it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, we're, I'm doing a si side note in uh two weeks on november 1st luke a rangale um there we go on november 1st uh me and my uh business partner kyle we're gonna be uh trying to gain weight uh so as we're following from this plan uh this guy did it he ate 4800 calories a day and uh and he put on 35 pounds but he only gained like 2% body fat. And so, uh, so which he pretty much put on like 35 pounds of muscle. It was insane. Uh, and then there's three other trainers that did it with him. The least amount that someone gained was 22 pounds and someone actually lost 3% body fat. So someone was eating 800 grams of carbs every single day and lost weight, lost body fat percentage, uh, not weight. And so that's what we're gonna try to do for uh, six weeks and in the middle of December. And I'm gonna be kind of uh, blogging the journey uh, there, YouTube, other places. Uh, but I'm excited. So you'll probably see me. Uh, so if you're like, wow, Luke, Luke looks like he put on 20 pounds. <laughs> That's why. Oh, I'm, I'm a little scared. Um, all right. So anyways, back to this. Where was I? So yeah, so don't be scared of eating carbs. All right. Um, anyone in here still scared of eating carbs? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. Um, all right. So what do we, where are we at? That's why I need to stop telling stories. All right, so how many carbs? So yeah, so again, how many carbs? Uh, about 45% of your total calories. Uh, so again, if you're 2,000 calories, um, 225 grams of carbs. If you're, and on day, today's day three, day four, I think on day five or day six, I'm really gonna break down the macronutrients and kind of help you guys out as well. Um, so don't miss that. <laughs> um, so if you're eating like 1,500 calories, right? So most females are like, oh, I want to stick to 1,500 calories because that's what society has told us for so long. Uh, you should be eating the minimum about 170 grams of carbs, all right? So what I would love everyone to do, workshop moment, is after this video, go to your MyFitnessPal. And if you don't have one, create one. It's free. Don't they, they're really tricky when you sign up and it says like, like it makes you think that you have to pay, but then there's a small little X in the corner, hit, hit that, it's free. I've never paid for it. Um, um, and plug in all the food that you ate today and see how many carbs that you actually had. You'll be surprised. Um, but females should have about 170. And, uh, and Daniela, uh, from the first video that's down over 130 pounds, same exact thing happened. She was eating like barely anything because when we, all of a sudden when we start eating healthy, we feel like we need to cut back. So they have little little tiny stuff here and there and they're barely eating food. She went from eating, I think it was like 12, 1300 calories to 2200 calories. Lost 130 pounds doing that. Um, so yeah, so there's a female version too. If anyone's out there like, hey, it's because you're a guy. It's easier for you. <laughs> uh, but it really is easier for guys. I'm sorry. 
I didn't make me. Uh, blame my mom. All right, so you guys know the purpose of carbs. You guys know the myths about carbs. To keto or not to keto. Uh, what carbs to eat, how many carbs. Yes, just covered that. And then so being intentional with carbs. So someone in here asked, sorry, it doesn't show me names. Um, oh, but I think I could do this. Someone in here asked, <laughs> look, that's cool. Is there a certain time of day that you should be eating most of your carbs? Uh, so in the two-part answer, in the long-term part of this, no, it does not matter. Um, in the quick results or how you want to feel the next day type of results, uh, yes, it does matter. So for me currently, I'm currently right now eating roughly about 250 grams of carbs. Uh, I work out at 1030 in the morning. So most of my carbs are eaten in the morning because as we learned on the purpose of carbs, it's for energy right and so i eat the majority of my carbs before and after my workout so if you guys are if you exercise um then i would suggest like if you're eat 50 to 70 percent of your carbs around your workout time and the reason for that is that's when your body's going to use those carbs for the purpose that carbs were created uh and then the other time the only like uh if you don't exercise start exercising, and if you just refuse to, uh, then eat your carbs based on your activity level. So if if you wake up and you're go, 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 and then at night you sit down and watch Netflix, eat the majority of your carbs in the morning. If at the nighttime is when you're go, 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 maybe you exercise at night, you could eat your carbs at nighttime. Uh, it doesn't matter on the time of day. It doesn't matter what time you eat them. Um, yeah, it really doesn't matter. In the again, in the grand scheme of things, you could eat your carbs whenever you want. Like three months from now, it's not gonna matter if you ate your carbs around your workout or not, right? Uh, the only the only reason to focus on what you eat, which I'll cover next, and what time you eat it, is based on how you want to feel. So a lot of times, uh, eating late got a bad rap because people usually eat late. They wake up, they feel gross, and they, they're up. If they step on the scale, they usually weigh one or two pounds more. And the reason for that, and it's not because they gained fat, which, of course, whenever we see the scale go up, we think, oh, no, I gained fat. Uh, but no, if you eat, let's say you eat at 10 p.m., go to bed at 10.30 p.m., uh, yeah, you're going to wake up feeling gross because your food was digesting during your sleep. Uh, and then, yes, you're going to weigh more when you jump on the scale again because you haven't pooped yet. That is all it is. You have a pound or two of poop inside of you, and that is why the scale went up, all right? Um, trust me, there's so many times that where I was trying to hit my certain numbers, and I had like literally 100 grams of carbs to eat, and I would eat that in one sitting at dinner, go to bed feeling gross, uh, waking up feeling a little bit gross, uh, weighing more, but by the end of the week, um, my results keep kept getting better, all right? So the only reason why you want to Focus on when to eat, what to eat is based on how you want to feel. Kind of like my illustration earlier about Twinkies. You could have a thousand calories of Twinkies and still lose weight, but you cannot have a thousand calories of Twinkies and feel great. You could eat whatever you want and look great. You cannot eat whatever you want and feel great. And that is the biggest thing that changed my entire life because there is no more good food versus bad food. You eat based on how you want to feel and health. So yes, you shouldn't eat a bunch of junk food and still look good because you're not going to be healthy. Uh, you could have a six pack ripped person and still be really unhealthy um, because of the, the food choices that you make, right? How many healthy per people do you hear they had a heart attack and things like that? Um, yeah, there's always those rare cases where they just got that lucky gene, but a lot of times people just, they don't take their health in consideration as well. They just learned how to hack the system with our bodies and that's how they look good. Um, but it's but it's it helps really good when like the times when you want to have pancakes and uh, go out with your wife for breakfast and hang have a have a date with your daughter. Uh, that's when it becomes really handy to know how to manipulate the foods that you want to. Um, so hopefully that let me know if that answered your question. Hope so. Uh, let's see where am I? All right, I think I'm on the last part. Nope, that was you. 
Dun, 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 dun. All right, so purpose, energy, miss. Carbs don't make you gain fat. Uh, cupcakes make you, no, not even cupcakes. Too many cupcakes. Uh, too keto or not to keto? Ask yourself one question. Do you hate carbs? Uh, what carbs do you eat or what carbs to eat? I showed you the list. Uh, how much carbs? About 45% of your total calories should come from carbs. And then uh, how to be intentional with your carbs is what we just covered. I like to pack my carbs around my workouts because that's when I need the most energy and push the most weight, which actually helped me be even leaner. And then how to eat bad carbs, my favorite part. All right, you guys excited to learn how to eat bad carbs? Good, glad that answered your question. Uh, dun, 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 dun. All right, here's the last piece of it all. And don't miss tomorrow about thought update system. I don't want to update my system. All right, guys, so here is the MyFitnessPal again. Again, if you don't have one of these accounts, just get one. It's free. And it's, you don't have to track your food the rest of your life. Uh, people never start because they're worried about that. But you do need to track at least for a week so you can see how much you're actually eating. Hey, Tegan, you want to say hi? Okay. All right, so uh, let's go with carbs here. So I'm just going to go with like basic carbs. So yesterday, okay, well, uh, sorry, guys, I have to hurry. My daughter said to come out soon. Um, so yesterday I did this with pure protein, showed you how to hit it, 100 grams of protein. So I think what I'll do right now is um, let's go 170 grams of carbs. So if you're trying to uh, reach uh, 1,500 calories again times 45% is 675 calories uh, divided by 4. I'll explain why we divided by 4 on day 5. Uh, which is 168, so let's go 170. So 170 grams of carbs. All right, cool. So let's say breakfast for your, uh, let's say we have you have your protein shake and let's have some oatmeal attached to that. Rolled, I gotta be in here somewhere already. Oh, Quaker, where's Quaker? Oat? There it is. So this is what I eat. I usually have two servings of 40 grams, which is one cup, um, but hey, we're females. Let's have just one serving. Uh, and I usually do females because it's usually mostly females uh, that watch the stuff. Guys have too many e too much ego. So if you're a guy watching this, I applaud you for learning. Um, all right, so there we are. So uh, half a cup of oatmeal is carbs, 27 grams of carbs. All right, so here we are at 27. Uh, and then let's have a snack. Um, let's say we have some fruit, but if you remember, don't only have fruit. Um, let's go. I love bananas. Anyone else love bananas? That's probably already in here too. Dun, 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 dun. I usually don't put it for snacks. Let's search. And usually if, if it has a check mark next to it, it's usually fine. Um, but it says one medium banana, but what does medium mean, right? So I just go to gram. Yeah, don't go off medium or large. If you truly want a real count, uh, I go off grams, uh, or you could go off ounces. Uh, from that biochemist I was talking about uh, yesterday, he likes to measure everything in grams just because it's more accurate. It's like a very little difference, but it's just more accurate. And then so what I do is I stick my banana on my food scale, and it usually comes out to about 130 grams. That's kind of, I don't know if that's considered large or medium. I don't know. They never taught us that. Uh, so I'll add that to food diary. So one banana, as you can see. Daddy, you need our help. You need my help? Okay, I could help you in a little bit, okay? No, get to the balloon. Oh, the balloon? Okay, I'll get it soon, okay? And then uh, banana, 130 grams, is uh, 30 grams of carbs. So as you can see, bananas are higher in carbs than most fruits. But does that make bananas bad? Not one bit. It just means it has 30 grams of carbs, and you just have to understand that when you plan out the rest of your food. Uh, so people will say, how big should my portions be? Like, I don't know. It depends what your other portions are, right? Um, so we're right now we're at 60 grams. We need about 100 more. Lunch time. So let's say you have some chicken, and then we have some uh, rice. It's probably in here. Brown rice. Here we go. So uh, usually I have, usually uh, my servings is about 200 grams of uh, rice, which is uh, a cup, roughly about a cup. So let's put a half a cup 
Not everyone's as hungry as me. Boom, so we're at 100 grams. Uh, and there we are, 23 grams of carbs. So this is also another reason on why you choose the carbs that you want to choose, is how full do you want to feel, right? Uh, as you know, you could probably eat a banana and not be, and still be hungry about an hour later. But you could have like a whole cup of, uh, half a cup to a cup of rice, which is less carbs than a banana, but it will actually keep you full longer because of the fiber and things like that, right? It's pretty interesting, huh? I, I find that interesting. Or you could eat tons and tons of vegetables and it'll be like five to 10 grams of carbs, but you'll be full for a long time. All right, so there's your lunch. Uh, it's time for another snack. All right, so we have uh, our oatmeal. We had a banana. Lunch, we had some rice. Uh, another snack. What would be another snack? So a lot of times when you put in um, your protein, it'll be attached with like Greek yogurts have carbs in it as well. Um, but I'll go through that too when we put when we place all of these together. Right now, I just want you to focus on uh, just just carbs. I'm just trying to choose proper carbs. Um, so let's say a snack. You make something with uh, sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. That's not how you spell potato. But pato it potato. There you go. And again, usually again, if it has a uh, check mark you can just find the one closest to you it doesn't have to be one super exact but let's make sure uh, see it doesn't have grams so I don't want to choose that one this has grams and same thing usually I'll have uh, 200 grams but for the sake of this I'll put 100 not everyone's as hungry as me usually for sweet potatoes sometimes I go to like 250 to 300 uh, depending on how many more carbs I need so where we're at so we're at 100 grams of carbs, and now we have dinner left. So we could choose something that's about 60 grams, 60 to 70 grams of carbs. Um, I don't know. Let's. Uh, we did rice. We did sweet potatoes. I'll just go with some quinoa. You guys made some nice quinoa and ground turkey for dinner. That sounds delicious. Uh, one cup. Can we change that to grams? I like this one. And let's just go 200 because we need to hit it. Let's see where we're at. Total carb, ooh, 229. I guess we don't need 200 grams of quinoa. So that's interesting. Let me uh, add food. Uh, you guys could take a look at everything that I usually eat. Like I got Chick-fil-A chicken tortilla soup the other day. No, oh, all right, I'll, I'll do the quinoa again. One gram, 200. You can check out the nutrition. So if I do 200, uh, it's 128. So uh, quinoa is a little bit higher in carbs than brown rice. Pretty, pretty good to know. Uh, there we go. So I think we need, bam, there we go. I don't know if I'm supposed to push that. Uh, 115. Add the food fiber. All right, so there we go. There's our day of 170. So if you're 1500 uh, on a 1500 calorie meal plan right now, and you need 175 grams of carbs, there's your portion sizes and food to get 175 grams of carbs. Now again, when you add protein, like Greek yogurts, things like that, you have to adjust some of these to uh, keep it fit. Again, like a Greek yogurt will have 15 grams of protein, but it'll also have like about 15 grams of carbs. So that would spike up your carbs as well. But for the purpose of this, I just wanted to show you um, carbs. All right. So now, uh, how do you, let me know if this part's helpful for you guys as well. Um, so I know this could be kind of a lot uh, and or boring to some, but it's really exciting for me. So. <laughs> Uh, all right, so here's all your healthy carbs, right? You got rolled oats, oatmeal, you got brown rice, you have quinoa, you have fruit, and you have sweet potatoes. 100% healthy carbs to eat, right? Even if you're a diabetic, anything like that, these are the carbs you should be eating. Um, another thing with diabetics, the only thing that you, when it comes to when you should eat your carbs, you just need to spread out your carbs more. Uh, you don't need to be scared of carbs. Uh, I hate, the one thing I 
dislike about doctors is when they give nutrition advice and they say you should eat less carbs. What does that mean, <laughs> right? You don't even know how many carbs I'm eating. I'm eating. Why are you telling me to eat less? And so most people are telling or barely eat carbs, and you don't need to be scared of carbs. You just have to spread them out further, and then have healthy carbs, right? That's that's the reason why you should have healthy carbs. Um, so okay, now my daughter's like, Daddy, can we go get a donut? And I say no, donuts are bad. And she says please, and I say no. And then she says, please, for the 50th time, and I give in. And then she's like, all right. I say, all right, but I'm not going to eat them with you. And then she says, please, and I say, okay, right? Anyone else have kids? Do the same thing. <laughs> so I give in. And so let's look this up. Uh, we'll just kind of, let's go with Krispy Kreme because it's a major brand, and it'll probably be, uh, nah, I'll do my favorite, Maple Bar. If you guys bring me donuts, I like Maple Bars. Uh, Albertson, we don't have Albertson. So if you, as you can see, almost everything's already in here. There's Winchell's, there's that, there's that. So here we go. Let's go with a Winchell's uh, maple bar. As you can see, let's just look at, it's 44 grams of carbs, all right? I don't know if that's accurate. Um, so let's add that to my thing. And so how can I eat this donut and still stay within my calories and still stay within my goals where I could eat this and still get results, all right? So if I know my goal is to eat 175 grams of carbs and I want a donut and I know a maple bar is 44 grams of carbs, what do I have to do? All I have to do is eat 44 grams less of carbs somewhere else. So maybe instead of my banana, I don't eat a banana. Great. So now I need 14 more carbs to get rid of. So maybe instead of eating 115 grams of uh, quinoa, I only have 100 grams now. And that puts us at 179. Pretty close, right? I think I'm supposed to be at 170. Let's get rid of another, another 9 grams. Uh, so instead of, we'll keep that, we'll keep that, we'll just get less, even less. Well, no, no, don't add food. So instead of, uh, we'll go brown rice. Instead of having 100 grams, we have 75 grams of brown rice. And that puts us at 173. I'll stay with that. So now, because I know exactly how many carbs I'm eating out throughout the day, I know what foods I'm eating has so many carbs in it, I can now add foods that I want into my meal plan when I want to and still get results. How cool is that? Anyone just have like a <laughs> aha moment? And again, that is why if you follow me on Instagram, you see me like I, I'm eating tons of pancakes. I eat French toast. I have donuts. I have ice cream with my family. I go out to eat. I have a beer. I don't do that every day. It might seem like it because I don't post healthy food. No one wants to see health pictures of healthy food. Um, but when I do want to have it, I can, and I know how to, to not lose my results. Isn't that, uh, I mean, I think that this right here, that thing right there changed my life. I used to be so scared to miss a workout. I used to be so scared to go out with my family. I'd feel so guilty if I'd go out with my friends, like, like, ah, oh, my diet's ruined. I might as well binge eat, right? So that is exactly how you could do that. Now, with this being said, will you gain weight? Maybe, maybe not. And it's not because if you have a donut, it's not because you gained fat, it's because now you're putting something new in your digestive system that your digestive system is like, hey, what is this weird thing? And so all that happens is you get a little bit bloated, that's why you might feel some bloat and that is the only reason, it's water weight, extra water weight, and that's why the scale went up, but guess what? You go to sleep and the weight's gonna fall off. And so it's not because you're gaining fat, but that is exactly how you could fit in things that you want to and still get results. I don't know, I thought that was cool. All right, uh, okay, answered my question. Yes, the app is extremely helpful and it's free. I like free stuff, do you guys like free stuff? Hope so, because you guys are watching this free video. Um, cool. So, let's see. Let me read this anyways. Kind of a question away from carbs. 
in the process of eating three meals a day and two to three snacks in between. If I am on the go, don't have any question, anything more than like protein bar for a snack, like Atkins bar or the Power Crunch bars is sufficient. Is that a bad snack? Um, yeah, I think you're the same one that's the answer question. So I'll cover that stuff on uh, actually day five when I when, when we put it all after the fat one. Uh, the video after that, I'm gonna kind of bring it all together and do like actual meal planning. Right now I'm just breaking it apart. So when I do the meal planning, it's not so much information at once. We're just like a like having a, trying to drink out of a, a fire hose and getting some water. Um, cool. All right, so earlier today on my, on my Instagram, I uh, said, hey, share this post for a chance at a raffle to win some stuff. Um, so what I'm gonna give away right now is two things, or two people, uh, could join our next 21 day challenge. And uh, and so what the 21 day challenge is, it's pretty cool. Uh, it starts November 1st and it's, the goal is to lose eight to 12 pounds in only 21 days. And most, honestly, I wanna say we have 100% success rate for people that follow the plan, right? Uh, of course, it's not 100% success rate for everyone that enters because there's people that enter and don't do anything that you're supposed to. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about the challenge that starts November 1st, oh, there we go. Uh, all you have to do, eight to 12 pounds down.com. Uh, it's right there, eight to 12 pounds down.com. And you could see a lot more information. Uh, it's only $47. Uh, so this is a, kind of a great way to enter into something new. And pretty much what I do is like you get like the meal plans and stuff like that that I'm going over. It's going to be the same ones as here. Uh, but my goal out of the 21 days is also to teach you like the mindset habits uh, so that at the end of 21 days, you build enough habits to keep the results. And that's my main purpose of uh, the 21 day thing to kind of it's it's basics nutrition uh, but more importantly to learn to learn the habits and so I wrote down the two winners from today I put them in some random app generator and it said these two people so what these two people get you get to join our um, the online version of our 21 day challenge for free starting November 1st pretty cool right and you have to watch this video uh, so I'll give you 24 hours to reply to me that you watched it. And so, uh, again, on my Instagram, I always do stuff like uh, share this post, tag people below this post, uh, whatever it may be, to, to enter in your chance to win. Da, da, da. So the first one is Heather, or Heater. <laughs> Just kidding, I think it's Heather Rubicava. But her Instagram name is Heater Beater. Heather Marie, uh, you're gonna enter our next 21 day challenge, 100% free. And then uh, the second person that the random generator chose is David LaCorny, all right? So if that is you guys, uh, just send me a message on here, uh, comment down below, hi, uh, so I know you watched the video and uh, and you could get that. And, uh, and again, I'm gonna be doing this throughout the time, so if you do want more information, just go to 8 to 12 pounds down. Uh, dot com. You could join for forty seven dollars. It's uh, it's awesome. it's one of my favorite challenges. I may be biased though, uh, but you get to see my face for twenty one days straight, which you might get annoyed of. Not gonna lie. Um, awesome. All right, guys. So hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please in the comments down below, let me know your greatest takeaway. Uh, let me know things that you like. Let me know things that you wish I did different, um, so I could keep improving these uh, for you because. You still have, today's day three, still have four more videos uh, coming at you. Uh, yeah, go Dodgers. Have a wonderful night. Peace.